The Presidents of the United States of America with Peaches from 1995. That's about the longest name I can find for a band that has had any kind of mainstream success. Certainly the band with the longest name ever to be nominated for a Grammy. All right, this is fun, so, so let's just keep going. Coming next, the largest private record collection in the world. The fastest song ever recorded. And who's been doing this longer than anyone else? That's coming next. More of The Secret History of Rock coming up. Back to The Secret History of Rock with Alan Cross. Let's continue on with some world records from rock. Here's a question. Name me the performer who has been active in the alt-rock business longer than anyone else. Iggy Pop. Well, that's a good guess, but he's only been at it since 1965. David Bowie. Not bad, but the first record he appeared on came out in June 1964. Is there anyone from the alt-rock field who has been recording and touring longer than Bowie? Well, I can only think of one guy. He started making records in 1958 when he was just 14. He's still active. He's recording, he's touring, and collaborating with bands like Metallica. So, yep, yeah, it's uh, Lou Reed. He was in a group called The Shades in 1958, and they recorded a single called So Blue. Didn't do much, but it did set Lou on a path to becoming one of the most influential figures ever in alt-rock. Heck, Bowie and Iggy owe a huge debt to this guy. Bowie even asked to produce records like this. 